My name is uh, Matthew Hilfiker. I'm 18 years old. I'm 2019 in three days, actually. I'm graduating high school in about two weeks, so that's good. And I have published this book uh, September of 2021, so just hoping to. I started writing um, in about eighth grade because I've, I've always had characters that I've thought of. I've always had the characters that I've created since I was super young. So I, so I first wrote an eight-page story when I was in eighth grade. So that's just the first time I ever wrote really anything. But in ninth grade, I had a creative writing class that really taught me how to write poetry and taught me what writing really like could mean to people and like just the kind of the, some of the nitty-gritty of it. And in sophomore year, I started writing the this fantasy novel about these characters I've thought of for years before so that was just I was writing from there on well my own imagination pretty much inspires it because it's kind of like an outlet for it but also I've always loved like Marvel and DC properties so that's just what I, what makes me love like superheroes and stories and just makes me value like in the good origin story and value a good character and for the fantasy aspect uh, the show like the show Game of Thrones really like inspired the fantasy aspect probably a little bit but that's what inspired that's what my main inspirations for it just superheroes in general My book is about the last living elf in a world that has a strong prejudice against elves. His name is Count, Count Lancelot, and he has to learn to put aside to put aside all that prejudice against his kind for the greater good of the world. He goes on this soul-searching, very introspective journey to find himself because he feels very lost, and he just kind of understands that he, he understands somehow, in some way, that he's just meant to be a hero. So that's what drives him. And it's about those three converging characters, and he's one of them. The other two, one of them is a wizard named Avios Argon, and he possesses is this ancient powerful energy source but he's never really done anything to help anybody he's just kind of been living a solitude his whole life but but he senses the threat of the entire story brewing like kind of as it's about to as it's happening so he just seeks to help others for the first time really and then there's another uh, another character I'd like to mention is named Alderman Udon and he was he was like a soldier for the army of the main villain in the story but what, what drives him is redemption because like from like from birth he was just thrust into this life of like of like murder and all just like committing these heinous acts but he just seeks to redeem himself that's what drives him as a character and they all end up going to the same place at about the same time and they have to put their differences aside for the greater good of the world I think people should read it because it's about it's about like the the light in the darkness like the fantasy novel in the book is called the legend of light and darkness so it's just about how light overpowers darkness so it's about how it really came from the idea that like the good in the in your life and in the world will overpower that darkness that seems to just be never ending Yes, I do think it would make a difference in people's lives because it would help them realize that the, like the light does overpower, like the, like the light overcomes the darkness, is in like the good, the light in their lives is 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 more is just more than the darkness. It's just to help people. I would love to help people with the book. The challenges in the writing journey. I mean, writer's block is always going to be there. That's it. Uh, the advice I'd have for the readers is to try and take to, to take something from the characters, anything really at all that you can. If there's anything from the characters that you can apply to your own life, to see things in a new perspective, or or to just better your life in any way, then I'd encourage to try and read read into the characters and see just what makes them who they are. My name is Matthew Hilfiger, and I'm inviting you to read Tales of Vice and Virtue. It's available on Amazon.com, any uh, Barnes and Noble's website, Authors Press's website. And I'm, I think you should read it because it can apply to your, uh, it can apply to people's own lives in many ways. It's a, it's an anthology book, but what it mostly is is, is a fantasy book, and the, the fantasy book has themes that are just relevant to the world in general. So I, I think it always, I think it's a relevant book. I think it's a, I think it's, a, I think it's a good book. I think it's interesting and adventurous. So if you like adventure, if you like vice and virtue, then this is a book for you. And then,